Google has learned a lot about the travel industry for the last 10 years and certainly in the last few years since their ITA acquisition they've formed what I believe is a very smart strategy around uh, the beachhead of airline data, pricing, inventory, and they're starting to roll out that strategy. They're engaging with airlines all across the world, low-cost carriers uh, and network carriers, and, and essentially they are becoming the next GDSs of the world, except much smarter, much stronger, much better technology, and much more permanent. So in the short term, and in fact the medium term, it's a good thing for, for any uh, supplier of product to get access to Google. Google have reach uh, and demand, you know, having the monopoly that they have on search, they have incredible reach that's really, really great for anyone that wants to avail of it. And that's fine, and you can acquire that demand in an advertising relationship and it works really well. What I'm getting at here is the permanence of giving your inventory and availability to Google. Once critical mass is reached and many airlines or a certain critical mass of airlines participate on a Google meta search, it will be impossible for an airline to roll back from that and be the only airline that doesn't participate. So there's a, there's a timing thing here around getting to critical mass for Google at which point you have to participate in Google. And that's not currently the case, but certainly you know, 40 or 50 years ago with GDSs, it was optional to participate in the GDS until it became absolutely mandatory and there was no way to get your product distributed. And it took some very brave airline executives to break that, to break that control that the GDSs had. The difference now is with regulation in the past with GDSs, many people could have many different ways of distributing their product. Uh, with a monopoly that Google have on search and on the consumer and the understanding that they have of the consumer and with Android the control they have over the device and the access to the consumer there's just an incredible barrier once you get there there's no way out of it for an airline so once Google have a certain proportion of a market it's not an option to participate it's going to be mandatory and at that point it'll be too late for airlines So an airline that generates substantial revenue from non-air related relationships with their customers will lose out in the short term, but that's less noticeable for them. The aggregators, however, that currently buy all their demand from Google will experience a far smarter Google that knows far more about the leads that they're sending them. The consequence of that is that Google will be able to charge more per click than they've been able to charge to date. Google need growth, demand is not growing for Google, so the growth has to come from the cost per click. Cost per click has suffered in the last year, in the last two years in fact it suffered, and this is a fantastic way for Google to fix that. So it's very good in the short and medium term, particularly for the airlines, a little bit worrying for the intermediaries, but in the longer term that will really, really damage the intermediaries, and longer term will also hurt the airlines. So my message to any airline CEO is do not give Google your, your pricing and availability data, no matter how attractive it is in the short term. Find other ways of distributing online, uh, cheap and effective ways of distributing online that complement your brand, that allow you to retain control of your brand and not be positioned in a meta search price leading way. Google are not evil, Google are great. but. Google have to keep growing. It's a great big monster that has to keep eating. And the next thing it's going to eat is going to be everything that the airline owns.